Hi everyone, welcome. This is Kelly and today I have a subby requested tutorial for this waterfall journal spot. I made this during the seven days of spring 2021 collaboration and a lovely lady asked to see how I made this. So I thank you for requesting this and let's make one now. To make the waterfall, you need a strip of cardstock for the base. You need some journaling cards, can be any size, but they do look better if they are all the same size. And another piece of scrap cardstock or a strip of paper that we're going to use to secure it all together. For your journaling cards, it's easier to decorate the backs of them now before we start assembling. I have lined my journal cards using a background page kit that Cara has just released. It's in these gorgeous patterns of coordinating colours and I think it looks quite nice on the back of these. I'm going to leave the fronts plain, but the backs here, I'm going to add some colourful ribbon. I'll speed this process up a little bit for you.
Now the journal cards are finished, we can move on to preparing the waterfall base. I'm going to use a scoreboard for this next part. I've just lined the back with dyed paper. And what we need to do here is score from four centimeters all the way through to 10 centimeters. So scoring lines at every centimeter from four to 10, because I have six cards, you do less or more score lines if you've got less or more cards. Now that we have our score lines, we need to fold along these lines all the way across and then back the other way. So that goes in like a concertina shape and then reverse. The better you have these folds, the smoother your waterfall will cascade. So do this a few times. Now that's all done and ready, we need to add glue to this parts here where we've scored. Now we take our first journal card and this is going to be the bottom one that goes on this flap here and I don't know why I decorated it because it doesn't flip up but never mind I know it's pretty under there. For this part you need to make sure your cards are tight against that score line so it sits nice and close so then you don't have gaps between your journal cards.
Okay, so that's all our cards in. I'll just check that they're all sitting nicely, not glued together anywhere. I'm going to need to extend my base strip. It's not going to be long enough, so I'll just quickly pop this on here. Now this flat flips down behind like this and this long bit I'm going to bend up and I might leave it like a little tab could maybe even hang a charm from there that could be cute that looks good so I will glue this down So that's looking nice now we just need to add our little strip on the back here to keep it all together and that's how we mount it to our page so any scrap bit will do long as it's long enough to go around the back this part here that we didn't stick underneath this the bottom card we need to attach this to that just add some glue stick to this base flap and attach our little strip to that and then I'll also put some glue over the top of that as well and then we just press it down make sure it's all firmly sealed And now this flap comes down and we close this over it. Not tight because you want it to be able to move up and down. Be cautious when you glue this tab. You don't want any glue seepage because it will then stick this to your base and it won't slide. And that's it done you can see it still moves nicely there so it's not glued to anything it shouldn't be and then you attach it to the page through this strip here and then once it's on the page it'll slide up like that and then back down works so nicely I love it so there you go one waterfall completed really simple and looks so effective and that's it from me for today. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you soon for my next video.